Hello action figure fans, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This video goes up on a Friday, so it's a Friday flashback. This time I am reviewing a Toy Biz action figure. A Toy Biz X-Men X-Force action figure. This was released in 1993. I bought this in a store in 1993. So here is the packaging. It says here it comes with a trading card. I have removed the trading card and I put it somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm sure I still have it. So this action figure is cruel. He was one of the immortal mutants, although at the time the story was running in the comic books, I think the writers and artists were inspired by the Highlander TV series with uh, immortals running around. So after a while, uh, Marvel Comics start, stopped um, having stories about these externals, the immortal mutants. So anyway, this one is cruel. He's a purple guy. And here is the packaging, a nice blister card package. I like the window packages so I can see the action figure and the accessories. And I have kept this package. I keep it for storage and also to display, but I've already opened it. So here's the front, there is the top, the bottom. I like this extra part here so I can set it on a shelf and it won't fall over. Here is one side, here is the other side, here is the back, a description on how to use the action feature, a little biography about Cruel, some manufacturing information, uh, cross sell, these are the X-Force action figures, these are the X-Men action figures that were available at the time. I'm reviewing this wave of the X-Force action figures. So let's take a look at the action figure. It's already open, but I was careful to make sure part of the package stayed attached to the card. And here the trading card would have been put right there. It was held in there with a piece of tape, but I have removed it. The action figure comes in a little plastic tray. Here is Cruel with some sort of warrior braid and here are a pair of some sort of alien skulls little alien skulls and very simple sculpture and a little loop here that we're supposed to put onto the braid so I'll show that off a little bit later here. So I'll just put these back in this little tray. Here is Cruel. Let's get a look at him. And the Warrior Braid. So this action figure is about 30 years old. Seems to be in pretty good shape after 30 years, although I've hardly touched it. Let's see how tall this action figure is. Just a little more than five inches tall, or maybe 12 and a half to 12 and three quarters centimeters tall. It's a nicely sized action figure for its time. Here's a little braid. It's plastic. I can bend it and it's not breaking so far. So that's pretty good after 30 years. I'm sure it's some kind of plastic, but hopefully it doesn't break while I'm reviewing it here. If it's on the top here, we can actually remove it very carefully. And we can fit it here. And then we're supposed to take these little alien skulls. There we go. Put them through the loop. And then the child is supposed to put, put this around their wrist and have a warrior bracelet. So, kind of interesting. 
So I don't think I ever actually tried that. And I'm pretty sure my wrist is too big for it right now. So, interesting. We'll just put this back on Cruel's head. Kind of an interesting name. I'm not exactly sure what his um, mutant power was. So as an external, he's an immortal, but in addition to that, they these externals, these immortal mutants were supposed to have some sort of power, so he's at least super strong and he's purple. So, uh, simple little head there, some nice uh, orange necklaces, orange shorts, and a nice belt with lots of little skulls, lots of little skulls sculpted around the belt. Here's something extra feature. We're supposed to put our thumb there to twist the action figure. We'll get to the articulation. Some torn shorts, some sort of wrist bracers, um, some sort of leg bracers, and I think you have bare feet there. No peg holes on the bottom of these feet. So they sculpted the muscles all the way around. They have some colors going all the way around. So pretty simple design. Pretty hard plastic. So these action figures were made to take a beating because they had an actual action feature. So this one, I'm not sure if I've ever actually done this before, but we're supposed to hold him and spin him around. Kind of hard to see, but let's see if I back up a little bit. So I'll spin him around. There we go. Well, that was fun. So back when the action figure action figures actually had an action feature. Action figures don't really do that nowadays. But that's all right. Let's take a look at the articulation. The head turns a little bit. The arms go around. Uh, the waist does turn. I'm not sure they all have waist articulation, but this one does. And the leg goes up that far, and back that far, up that far, and back this far. But no uh, knee articulation. A little unusual. So, there is Cruel. Not too bad looking, although very obscure character. I'm not sure if the Hasbro Marvel Legends series will ever make an action figure out of Cruel, but we will see. Here is Cruel next to a pair of four inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an Animal Planet set I reviewed a while ago. And on the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. And Cruel makes a pretty cool uh, purple mutant or purple monster or purple alien um, kind of creature that uh, four inch scale action figures can battle against so looks pretty cool that way although the articulation is a bit limited in Cruel. Here is Cruel next to a six inch action figure on the left the Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc action figure by Jazzwares and a 7 inch action figure on the right, the Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel. And Cruel just makes a well, cool little monster, mutant, alien, creature, something or other. So he works pretty good at uh, either scale. Here is Cruel next to another very colorful character, a She-Hulk character from the Hasbro Marvel Legends series. This She-Hulk action figure is about 7 inches tall, so 
uh, two inches taller than Krull. So if they're from the same universe, they don't really scale very well together, but otherwise it's kind of an interesting display. Certainly very colorful. The Hammertron Sledgehammer rating for this Toy Biz X-Men X-Force action figure from 1993 is, it's okay. It's not the most articulated action figure, and it looks okay for the time it was made. Um, and it actually still holds up. The action feature still works. I'm kind of surprised this plastic um, warrior braid part didn't break, so I'm happy about that. Although, I hardly ever touched it at that time, and it's been in storage for maybe 20 years or more, so it's still in pretty good shape, and I'm happy about that. So, this action figure is okay. Thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this action figure, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.